An armed and dangerous inmate who escaped from a maximum security prison is back in custody tonight. His arrest comes after a two and a half day, 1200 mile manhunt. And as 7 News reporter Brianna Smith shows us, his escape brings us back to an issue the Department of Corrections has been facing for a while, Brianna, cell phones inside prisons. Absolutely, Gordon. Now, Jimmy Causey was found with all of this, guns and $47,000 worth of cash. And as you can see, four cell phones there in Texas. That was after authorities searched for him day and night. Now, the DOC said it was a, was a simple cell phone that helped him orchestrate this entire escape from inside prison walls. Just last month, prison director Brian Sterling issued a warning. Or you're going to see more and more incidents like this. That quickly came true. This has been a long couple of days for the department. A nationwide bolo for an escaped inmate was issued on Tuesday for a man that investigators had also searched for during an escape just 12 years earlier. These uh, inmates had some help with some other inmates and using, they made some fake heads out of toilet paper, that kind of thing. So they, they had. The officers actually might very well have seen flesh color. Using the same MO from 2005, Sterling says that Jimmy Causey put a dummy in his bed, tricking officers, but he used new technology to help him get out. We believe a cell phone was used to facilitate and give this inmate the resources to escape. We also potentially believe that a drone was used to help him get the contraband in to escape. Using wire cutters, investigators say that Causey cut through four fences, his escape going unnoticed for nearly 18 hours. Sometimes the staff just has to follow policy and procedure, and if that's not done, that's when we have failures like this. Failures that started with a cell phone getting in, a plea for federal help to ban cell phone signals in state prisons has fallen on deaf ears for years. It's now met with an exhausting defeat. This is just going to keep on happening and happening and happening. Without federal help, South Carolina is now spending its own money to try and stop the problem. We spend so much money. We're putting up 50-foot golf netting around most of our institutions, spending $7.65 million tax dollars that could be going to other things, that could be going to officer salaries. It's so frustrating. Something as simple as a cell phone that we all have getting inside there and running drug rings and, sure. and intimidating witnesses and helping with well, the, the, the Prisoners have orchestrated hits on people from inside prison with Absolutely. cell phones. Uh, this guy, most importantly, back in custody. Mm -hmm. Do you know how they caught him? You know, they had lots of leads, and SLED said that's part of the investigation that they're not wanting to reveal yet because obviously he had help, so right. more arrests are coming out of this. Yeah, I think there's a lot more to come on this. Yeah.